This is my friend Ali Tiego. I'm back in Africa for my third trip to recreate the research that I did for Honey Honey Lion. My first trip to Africa was to see the animals for On Noah's Ark. When I was in Botswana, I fell in love with the people, the beautiful land, and the fascinating animals. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the treasure hunt that I went on to find all the different animals to illustrate my story, Honey, Honey, Lion. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. We feel very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> This way, please. I know I'm sure you're really hungry. That's it. But I have a few of my. Huh? This is for us? Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. this is amazing. If you can look far, far ahead, we have about three hippos over there. No, really? Seriously. <gasps> if you come this way, you'll see their bodies, but you won't see. There, <laughs> there is one coming up. Oh, see, right yeah. there, you see it? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, the big hippos. Did the other camps come and look here? No, no not that I know of. This is of, really okay. new. Yeah. And the hippos are coming from all over because it's the water, dry. yeah, it's getting dry. So every day we have a new hippo. Every you day do? We have a, yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of noise because they're trying to be territorial and chasing them away. And there's a lot of fights here and there. <gasps> Some are making love. So it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I do. It's not interested in eating you or anything, but it just doesn't want anything yeah. to happen. Yeah, especially if you're in the water too, yeah. don't you yeah. think? Yeah, even if there's a boat, what it will do, it will not, it, its aim is not to kill the people in the boat, because it's only seeing one yeah. object. Yeah. So it will hit the boat, and then people, of course, will fall in, and then yeah. that's when they meet with the hippo, yeah. man to man. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's really risky. This time we went to Cape Town for, a couple, for one day, uh -huh. but then to come to battle. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> we were dying to see you. I mean, Ali was really, really anxious. Man, I really want to see these guys. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, we always talk about him. I'd been back in Botswana for less than a day, and I'd already seen the first animal for honey, honey lion, the hippopotamus. Now I needed to find a big elephant, and I knew just where to look. My friends, Doug and Sandy Grove, they have three elephants that are semi-habituated and live with them. Whoa. 
of time in Costa Rica. Just one time. Oh, just one time. Yeah. Lovely, lovely illustrations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Such a bag. <laughs> Piece of paper, huh? Yeah. Baby paper. Yeah. <laughs> He's much more fun to draw with those white spots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Jackie's going to and introduce himself. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey, now the eyelash length does vary a little bit. Sometimes they'll sweep wrong on one and they'll lose a couple lashes or something like that. Mm -hmm. that long, luxurious ear hair and those beautiful yeah. eyes. Uh -huh. get your head over. Drop uh -huh. move up. Good boy, move up. Drop uh -huh. over. Friendly and sweet this morning. Oh boy. Oh. Jabba, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. <laughs> Jabba, right? Do you uh, want to do something to my hat? Hi, I kind of got the idea that you snuck. All right, Jabba, take the hat. You can take my hat. There oh, you. good boy. Good oh, that's nice. a really good boy. I guess you get a treat if you get your hat, right? Thank you. That was very gentle. That was a good boy. That was so gentle. You are such a good boy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Oh, I can smell your breath. I can smell your breath. You're a good boy. <laughs> You are a very good boy. You are. Okay. Jabo and his friends were perfect. Now, I needed to find a giant baobab tree. The badger and the honey guide bird trapes over the baobab's roots. And my friend Ollie helped me right away. Baobab trees, actually, as you, I mean, they sort of slow growing trees and they grow very big. Like now, if you, the bark itself, as you can see that big hole there, the bark in there, it's not actually as hard like other trees. It's, it's a lot of fiber and uh, a lot of sap. In most cases, elephants, like in the dry areas, they, they gorge the tree and they eat inside. It's said probably about 40% of the bark itself is just moist moisture and water, sort of. But I mean, we do normally we just sort of look, measure the circumference yeah. and we give a rough estimation, like if it's like maybe 8 meters or so, you, you say roughly plus minus 800 years old, which is not a perfect way. In Tetswana, the language of Botswana, the candle pot acacia is called the house of the lion, a good place for a lion to hide. That's amazing. It was getting dark. We had found the hippo, the baobab, and a roaring lion. Now was the time to look for a hyena. Ali 
did it. He found us a hyena den with cubs. For my book, I needed hyenas in the day, but these cubs were just too good to pass up. Early the next morning, we were off to find warthogs, a termite mound, and hopefully a giraffe. Newly minted. <laughs> <laughs> he was hanging on the zebra skin. He was? Hanging around the zebra skin. He was mean. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Wow. Basically, what happens is when they fly out, they get a spore of the fungus called the tomatomyces. Because uh, they, they plant this in the base of that mound, they, they go to the fungi garden, which is the, where they plant this fungus. Yeah. They eat the cellulose, the grasses or woody substances and they can't digest that. And this fungus break down the cellulose into carbohydrates they need for the body. So starting up building up the mound, they starts right there, small of the size of my fist. They get the water from the underground yeah. and the soil in the area. And then they, they use their saliva, which is very sticky like glue. These look so self-important, yeah. like they're so proud of themselves. Not like I'm well. a warthog and I'm a... Yeah. I'm just, I like no, their trot. Yeah, normally they run and come back and look at you. Get yeah. Get curious. And eventually they move. Look, look at come. the mud they were in. See, oh. she's coming back towards us. Oh yeah, here she comes. Yeah. And everybody's going to follow. They just want to see exactly what's happening. Are we <laughs> after them or what happened? On the way back to camp, I saw two more characters from my book. I saw a guinea fowl. And driving down the road, we saw a herd of beautiful zebra. But two animals evaded me. I'd seen the honey guide bird the year before, but I'm still looking for the elusive honey badger. Good reason to return to Botswana next year. On the way to the airport, my friend Ollie found us one more surprise. There, draped over a tree, taking an afternoon nap, was an absolutely magnificent leopard, probably waiting just to say goodbye and wishing me to come back soon and perhaps add her to my next book. <laughs>